Hello, YouTube. Hello, NFL fans. Hello, Bear fans. All right, guys. Let me talk to you, man. Um, last week, I was talking about Jay and the ball. All right. Um, this time, the punter Jay the ball. <laughs> you know, you turn the ball up, you Jay the ball. I made a video about it. But Pat O'Donnell, which is, he's normally a great punter. Somehow, you know what? Pat. Patrick, I'm talking to you. The next time they're coming at you, the whole line is coming at you, hold the ball. Just hold the ball or throw the ball. But they get the ball there. They block the punt party and they take it in for seven. Party, you got to not do that. All right. And special teams giving up a touchdown. Wow. That guy's good, though, you know. But uh, that didn't cost us the game. I mean, it didn't help matters. You can't give New England points. You just can't. You can't give New England points. You give them points and you're asking for trouble. But I'm telling you what. Guys, I'm proud of my Bears. I know you're saying, man, we lost again. No. Look at Our offense put up 31 points. Okay? Our offense is looking great. There's nothing wrong with the offense except Mitch Jay and the ball. Now the the when he when he jayed the ball on the left side, that was a great interception. That Patriot intercepted that ball. It was amazing with one hand. So okay, I'll give the the defensive back or safety the benefit of the doubt. That was an incredible interception. But the one on the right. When Jay was running down the sideline in the backfield, and all he had to do is throw the ball away or run out of bounds. What does he do? He forces the ball in to uh, it would have been an incredible catch. And if it would have been caught, Belichick would have replayed it anyway, and it wouldn't have been a catch. But since it ended up an uh, interception, they give New England the interception. Okay? All right, but... uh. But uh, that's 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 Jay and the ball. When when you throw the ball to the right side like you did, Mitch, man, that was bad. That was real bad. Okay, I think that's the you know that you can't Jay the ball. You just can't Jay the ball. We're not supposed to Jay the ball. We had eight years of Jay and the ball, and it didn't get us nowhere. Okay. Now we got a real special uh, team here. I know we're real young, I know, but man, I tell you, I mean, they're learning. This is all going to be, look at, in, in one or two years, we're going to be the Patriots, okay? I can tell. This team's going in the right direction quickly, okay? Did, did anybody anticipate us being a, 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 a respectable team? No, no. Nobody did. First year coach, uh, head coach, uh, first year offensive coordinator. Uh, you know, uh, nobody just took us for uh, serious at the beginning of the season. We weren't supposed to win the five games. But I figured out uh, we would win more than five games. What did I say at the beginning? I said... Uh, the most anybody's got us is seven and nine, but uh, I don't know. I got it right here. Hold on a minute. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, I said I said we'd win nine games. I said we'd go nine and six, but I said since they added Mac, that should give us four more games. But it didn't. It's not. Okay, it's not panning out that way, but I'll take 9 and 6. I'll take a respectable 9 and 6. But, uh, oh, man. We just, we just got, we just got, if we quit Jay and Duvall, we'd be a perfect team. We'd be undefeated right now. I'm telling you. Um, what? We lost to Green Bay by one point. We missed the field goal in the Miami game. And this game here. Thanks to Kevin White, we were one yard away from overtime. One yard. 
Way to go, Kevin White. I'm glad to see you out there playing and playing hard, too. Fighting! Kevin White, kudos, man. But uh, one yard away from tying them up, man, taking them to overtime. But, uh, you know, New England is one of the best teams in the NFL. And we hung tough with them. And it would not surprise me. It would not shock me to see Chicago and New England in the Super Bowl this year. If we get our heads together. And you know what? I blame people like me and the media. Okay? When we blew up Tampa Bay. When we blew them up. The media and me was saying, oh, my goodness, you know, 85 Bears, 2006 Super Bowl. I mean, you know, I was, everybody was saying the Bears are the best defense in the NFL. Okay, all these Bears defensive players are thinking, wow, we're that good. They got the big head. They couldn't even barely get their helmets on, okay? Then Miami bit him in the butt. But that was mistakes, you know, missed field goal, fumble, interception, okay? Jay and the ball get you in trouble and then now this game I could actually say our defense did pretty good because when you hold uh, when you hold uh, Tom Brady to a couple hundred yards one uh, and an interception and you force three fumbles okay I think our defense did pretty good okay hey this is New England Patriots when they're on the roll they're unstoppable the last time New England played the Bears. New England beat us by 30. The time before that, when New England played the Bears, New England beat us by 30. You see what I'm saying? The last two times New England, we've never beaten Tom Brady. Okay, the Bears have never beaten Tom Brady. So that's why we hope we get to the Super Bowl where we can beat Tom Brady. But uh, listen, we held Tom to 200 yards in the interception and caused three fumbles. You know, we were in first place, three and one, okay? Now our heads got real big on offense and defense, you know? We said we are unbeatable. Now we're in last place. That's right. The Detroit Lions are ahead of us in our own division. The Bears are in last place. This, this makes me sick, you know? But that's all right. I see a winning streak coming here, okay? We got the Jets, we got Buffalo, we got the toilet, and uh, a couple other little things in there. Well, I see a winning streak happening here. But Mitch did pass for 300 yards, and uh, averaging 12 yards a play. We run for 134 yards, run for uh, five and five plus uh, yards. Against New England, so we carried our own the offense. There's nothing wrong with the offense except Jay and the ball. You can't Jay the ball. Okay, all right, all right. You can't, you can't, you can't Jay the ball. Well, look where Jay Cutler's at right now. Jay Cutler's on the beach showing his butt somewhere. Okay, he's on the beach. You can't Jay the ball. If Jay was not Jay in the ball, Jay be playing right now. You can't Jay the ball. All right. But listen to me. This is a freaky stuff going on here. If you take our 2006 season, when the Bears went to the Super Bowl, we played the exact same people we're playing this year. And guess what? We lost to Green Bay. We lost to Miami. And we lost to New England. But we won all the other games. We beat Tampa. Beat Seattle. Beat Arizona. We swept Minnesota. We swept Detroit. We split with Green Bay. We beat the Rams. We beat the Niners. You see what I'm saying? You see what's happening here? I see us going to the Super Bowl with New England and kicking Brady's ass for the first time. I say it's possible. Not right now because we're a mediocre team. We're no better than the Jets. Now the Jets are coming in here. I have three and four, or four and three, three and four, whatever. We're three and four. We're three and three, whatever. It's a mediocre team going against a mediocre team. That's right. I'm calling the Bears a mediocre team because right now we don't have it all together yet. We're jaying the ball. You can't jay the ball. But that's what's happening. That's exactly what's happening. If we don't jay the ball, we're undefeated. You follow what I'm saying? We keep turning the ball over.
You can't trade the ball. All right. Let me get this going here. Bears Bound is the one that uh, Bears Bound uh, 090809 something like that. He's the one that told me about the made a video about the 2006 season and made me look it up. So I went and looked it up the 2006 season. You guys are gonna freak out when you look it up. Just look it up. Just look up the 2006 Bears season. So watch what I'm saying. At the end, it says we got to play Seattle and uh, New Orleans. Well, New Orleans is almost undefeated. We might meet them in the playoffs. And Seattle's going to get their act together. They'll probably be the wild card. Maybe we'll play them in the playoffs. Knock out Seattle, go against the championship game against New Orleans, and then beat Brady in the Super Bowl. What do you think about that? Woo! But we got to get going this week against the Jets. Let me tell you what the Jets can do. The Jets can get to the passer. They've got 18 sacks. Well, we got 19 sacks, so we're the same. They got 10 interceptions. But they give up 11 interceptions or something like that. They're a pretty equal team. Whatever they can do defensively, they give up offensively. But so we, I say the Bears have got the edge in this. And we should win this game by 10 or 11. We really should. But on any given Sunday, any team can beat any doggone buddy. we got to be careful. Oh, man. Did I cover everything? I think I covered everything. Uh, wait, 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 wait. Yeah, the Jets are three and four. They have ten interceptions, but they lost ten interceptions. Watch out for that Mitch. Mitch, watch out for that guy named Lee. Don't throw it nowhere near that guy named Lee. He leads their team in interceptions. He got that three or four of them. Don't throw it near Lee, you bitch. And they they uh, they give up a hundred yards rushing. They give up three hundred yards passing every game. So we ought to have a good game offensively against them. Uh, they give up 15 sacks, but they've got 16 sacks. We don't win this game. This is it. If we don't win this game, I'm not doing videos no more. If we don't win this Jets game, I'm not doing no more videos. <laughs> like y'all care. <laughs> but, uh, I'm going to shout out. I'm going to shout out to Kevin White. He, he showed up, played hard. Man, he's a big dude. We need to get him on that field, man. He's he he man, there was three Patriots around him on that last Hail Mary, and he caught that ball. Way to go, Kevin White. Wow. I want to do some shout outs here. I want to shout out to Collins, K eighty five, the Beltway, Rock Steadyish, Kevin, Patrick Palmer, Drunk Tailgater, Jill Nose, Aaron Bearded uh, Bears fan, Electric Football Show. That's a good show. Ghost of the Judah Tribe. Bears Bound, 0809. Mr. Vice President, man, I tell you what, Mr. Vice President, I have fun with you. The Bears Beatdown, the Bears Beatdown. This guy is pretty cool, a little Italian dude, and I think up in Chicago. He's good, man, he's good. Uh, John Thomas, hey, man, Bears Bar Room. The Windy City Productions, boom or bust, you guys are all right, man. Hey, thank you for watching my video. I know I took a lot of your time. I'm sorry, but I tell you what. I love my Bears. I want to see them go all the way, man. But we got to make, we got to turn that corner. And all we, all we got to do is quit Jay and the ball. I made a video called Don't Jay the Ball. And, and it explains everything about Cutler and now. Just we can't Jay the ball. Just, we just can't, guys. Just can't. Go Bears. Man. But I'm excited about this this season. Every game has been, uh, man, unbelievable. Okay? Every game has been great. I want to appreciate you guys for watching. You see how I shaved? Maybe that will bring us good luck. Man, I almost shaved everything. Almost looked bald. Look at me. Old man. I'm an old man. Been watching this football since 1967. And I've been in YouTube since 19, I mean 2006. I was one of the first YouTubers. Nobody knows who the hell I am. I could walk down the street and nobody, well, I, no, I take that back. There's a few times. Me, me and my wife got pulled over in the mall. Somebody says, I know who you are. They're watching my Michael Vick video. But, um, all right, man. Go Bears. Bear down. We got to beat the Jets. We got to manhandle them, okay? Okay, we got to score. 
score uh, score thoughtfully okay use your bread yeah your head man <laughs> use your head but we gotta we gotta we gotta we can run the ball we can do all kind of shit we're at home now let's do the right thing and let's win this ball game let's beat the jets let's beat the jets if we don't if you, you know you gotta watch out man the jets will beat you you better play smart football smart football Balance running attack, balance uh, passing attack. All right, strong defense. This kid's a rookie. This quarterback, uh, he's a rookie. I don't know, Nar Nar Narnold Darnold Nar. I don't know. It's, but uh, the running backs hurt. The running back, the running game. They run good though. They got two backs. Um, but just use your head, Bears. I don't, I've got no doubt that you guys are gonna win this ball game. You know, I was I was kind of weird about uh, uh, New England. I thought you're gonna beat Miami, but I'm pretty confident on this Jets game because I want to make more videos. Thanks, guys, for watching. Go Bears! Bear down! Make George Hallis proud. Right now, I'm proud. Where's my button at here? Uh oh. Bye.